Hello, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, and in this tutorial video I'm going to explain you the terrain masks in combination with the terrain filters in work, inside World Creator. So we'll start by creating a new terrain, and we would like to adjust a little bit the pixel error so that we have a bit better details. And now we're switching over to the real-time generation so things get a little bit faster for us. As mentioned in tutorial 3, um, you at least have one mask with one filter applied, which is uh, always the basic filter. So um, now if you would, would like to create biomes for this terrain, you will have to work with masks. So my idea is now that I would like to have a specific part, a specific, uh, specific uh, region on this terrain to be terrestrial style and I also want to erode only specific areas on the terrain in combination with those terraces. So what I'm going to do now is first um, to add a terrain mask. And because the this mask is going to handle the terrest, I will give it a name, like terrest, and I'm going to add a terrain filter to this mask. I'm selecting the terrest terrain filter. And you can see that um, now this uh, terrest filter has been applied all over the terrain. Now I just want to select a specific region or a sp a specific regions on this terrain to be uh, transformed with, it, with this terrest filter. So what I'm going to do is um, click to edit mask. Now I can select uh, for example a texture that is already there or you just enter a new name and hit uh, save. Um, I'm going to select an uh, empty texture right now because it's a bit easier for me. I'm going to hit yes, overwrite it, OK, and here we go. Now I can paint on this mask and it goes like this. Just paint over it just as you would with the Unity Terrain tools. It's absolutely equal. I'm going to fill it out a little bit. You can see that it's really cool how the terrain transforms into something different. And um, now to delete uh, specific uh, portions, just hold hold down the left shift key to erase uh, the painted areas. Okay, once you're done with this, um, just click to apply mask. Here we go. And you can see now we have already two different terrain types, some kind of a mountain and a terrestrial type. And now I would like to to, uh, to to further modify the mountain part here because I want to apply some erosion on them. So, easy to do, just add another terrain mask. I'm going to name it like Erosion. Add a new terrain filter to this new mask. Select the Erosion filter for example. Here we go. Now it's completely eroded over the entire terrain. This is because we need to add a mask. I already have one here, so I'm going to drag drop it. <laughs> now click to edit mask, select the brush, and I'll start your erosion. So before, uh, I'm going to fully erode specific parts. I'm going to explain you a few things here. You can, for example, um, set the brush size, so larger brush means, of course, larger areas where you can paint on. Uh, you can select also brush rotation. This is quite nice if you have some, some cool things like, like this. <laughs> then you could, for example, uh, rotate that brush. It looks like this. Uh, you can uh, increase or decrease the brush strength, giving you also smoother transitions see here. So that's also one, one nice thing. Move it again. Now of course you can also select the brush from your textures inside Unity. And all these brushes that you uh, see here are, are available and customizable. You can uh, find them in the content folder inside your world creator folder or the assets folder. There's a content folder and there you have a brushes folder. So you can create your own brushes, put them in here, and World Creator will recognize them and display them right here. Okay, so let's paint a few more things on our terrain here, which erode it, 
throughout some parts. That'd be cool. Here we go. Okay, and once they're done, click to apply mask. And now we have it eroded. Now I would like to adjust a little bit the terras filter, so I'm switching over to the terras mask here, so you might terras filter. I want to adjust a little bit the strength, I don't like these hard edges here, so I'm going to remove a little bit of the higher resolution noise. Here we go. And now regarding the mask, you could also um, invert a mask. You could also reduce a little bit the, the weight, it's actually the strength how this mask has been mixed with the original shape of the terrain. You could also manipulate a little bit the height of the mask and the areas that are being affected by the mask. Adjust them as you want. That's too much, back to one. You can enable a mask, the one is just disable them as you would do with the filters, you can remove a mask, you can clear all masks, and so on. So actually, a very powerful tool to create nice looking and uh, uh, real looking terrains. Okay, that's right now. Hope you enjoy. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, please check out our other tutorial videos. Bye bye.